Hi, in this episode of Redneck 101, we're demonstrating how to fillet a uh, channel catfish with an electric knife. And I use the bubble blade, which I've come to like a lot. There is a redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh. I've uh, chosen the E-Flex 7-inch uh, tip, bends a little bit, and I'm going to demonstrate this uh, both ways that are possible. Uh, one way to do it is to cut through the ribs, uh, first cut down, cut through the ribs, down the tail, flip it over, separate the fillet from the skin, and then cut out the ribs is another step. Uh, if you're going to do it that way, I recommend that you have running water available because things can get a little bit dirty. And then on the second uh, catfish, I'm going to show you how I do it when there's not running water available. Or sometimes I'm just in more of a hurry. Uh, the first cut uh, in that case, well basically you don't cut through the ribs. Uh, you stay out of the rib cage with the second way to do it. Alright, well pr praise the Lord Jesus that provided these very nice channel catfish in answer to prayer. Alright, first cut down the backbone. Make a right for the tail, second cut along the backbone through the ribs, and this electric knife goes through those ribs really nice and easy, so I like it. Alright, so once the fillet is separated from the backbone, separate it from the skin. Now sometimes this happens, I think it happened that time. Wow, boy, we came off the, uh, <laughs> we weren't separating from the skin at all on that cut. Uh, still kind of inexperienced with the bubble blade. So let's go ahead and take out the ribs. All right, now we took out the rib cage. And now we can make another stab at uh, separating the fillet from the skin. And I guess I just need to not push down toward the board as hard. All right. Man, I still left a little bit of skin on there. Need a little more practice with the new bubble blade, I guess. Uh, it'll come in time. All right. One very good looking catfish fillet. Thank you, Jesus. All right, and then the Second half. Hey, maybe we can get it off the skin with the first try this time. We'll see how that goes. Two very nice catfish fillets, and that was the method uh, cutting through the ribs. All right, and the second method is to stay behind the ribs. You don't get quite as much meat, but it's faster and cleaner if you don't have running water. And it's also it's a way to do it if you're in a hurry. You have a big pile of them. All right, so you kind of feel where the ribs are, 
and the ribs are right here. So you make the first cut behind the ribs, uh, down to the backbone, then back along the backbone. Flip it over. Very nice fillet. Flip it over. Take the second side, feel where the ribs are. And this time we're going to stay behind the ribs, down the backbone, and then back. Oh wow, I gotta clean that up a little bit. Alright, two very nice fillets. Now let me show you one other thing on these uh, first fillets. Uh, and I could show it on these too, but uh, these channel catfish fillets, uh, this strip of yellow along the top, that's going to have a little fishier flavor. So depending on the palate of your family or whoever's eating it, uh, if you prefer very mild fish, I will go ahead and cut out that, uh, that little strip of yellow. That's just where the uh, Channel Catfish stores some uh, oil for a little extra energy and it's got a little fishy flavor to it. Uh, so if you don't prefer that flavor, you want to cut it out. I tremble at the thought of judgment day Lord, I am not ready Please don't return just yet for all my sins are and put away My cross is on the floor and I would burn